Welcome to our F1 2024 Las Vegas Grand Prix predictions. I'm Sagan, and yet again I'm alone, but it's gonna be fine because I have HSS predictions, and I'm gonna go over this. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna for, go for this fairly quickly because I mean Las Vegas last year was fine, but it feels like this race isn't as anticipated as it was last year, mainly because it was a new track with new track conditions. Now that we've raced there, obviously it produced a good race, but also it kind of feels like, like yeah, it was the one special thing and it's it's there again. I don't know. For me, I, it's nothing really special, uh, especially considering the title fight is over. Now uh, it basically feels the same as last year, but without the, it being the first time there. So uh, yeah, that's it for me, I guess. Um, yeah. Track should be warmer than last year as well, because it's later in the year. I mean, not later, sorry. Um, or is it later, actually? <laughs> okay, I should probably stop. Um, anyways, um, predictions. So, we're going to start qualifying from P5 all the way to P1. AJ6 is starting, because he's not here, <laughs> so I can do it. Uh, he has P5, Carl Sainz. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to do his entire top five first, because I'm going to do mine spontaneously, and uh, basically it's going to be like this. Uh, Lando first, Max second. So the usual, then it's uh, Charles and P3. Yeah, stream P4. So it's going with a very generic, um, very generic top five there. I'm gonna not gonna go much differently. I'm gonna go with number spot position with Clark as well in P2 there. I'm actually gonna go with signs in P3. I feel like it's gonna have a good weekend this time. Uh, Max P4, I think it makes sense. And I kind of wanna put Mercedes there. I'm gonna pick Russell for P5. You know what? Like Norris P1 with Piastri out of the top five, it's not as unrealistic. Uh, even though I'm a big fan of Piastri, I feel like it's not. Delivering uh, recently, I mean, the random, random spring qualifying in Brazil, we actually outqualified Lando. It was mostly Lando doing a mistake. He was ahead pretty much for the entire weekend, apart from that session. So yeah, uh, Grand Prix, that should be more interesting. Uh, on AJ6 part, it's really not. It's uh, 5 for Carl Sainz, so that's for me, sorry. Uh, P4 for Carl Sainz in Grand Prix. P4 is Piastri. E, sorry, B3, it's Max Verstappen, so another podium for him, as he, well, uh, not, not, I don't quite know what are the requirements for him to win the title this, this time around, but I assume it's like he has to finish out of Lando to get the title. Uh, maybe wrong, but I think that's how it is. Um, in this scenario, he wouldn't, because Lando finishes B2, and B1, Charles Leclerc, I kind of like it. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. I would go with the same. I kind of need the points. So I'm going to go with Norris opposition. Sorry, Norris Wayne's win. Looks like P3 2. I'm going to stick with a Ferrari 1 2 3. Um, and I'm going to go with Max Remains in P4. I think PH3 gets to P5. Uh, fastest lap. Um, well, I'm going to go with Norris and. It just go with science. But at least impressive team. Uh, am I recording this pressure? Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, at least impressive team for each axis. Alpine. Um, I don't know if it's this, this is based on the Brazil uh, Grand Prix because I think that was a was a one off. I don't think anyone expects Alpine to be quick in Vegas. Uh, I don't. I don't even think they will get any points. Honestly, might get a one or two. Uh, with a random random P9, but whatever, I, I just don't think they expect it to be good. So, least impressive team, they gotta be horrible. And uh, yeah, based on last year, uh, I don't think they will be, honestly. I think they'll be in the midfield around like P11 to P13, and that's not the least impressive team by any stretch. Um, least impressive team from my, my predictions, hmm. Who's bad in streamline speed? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with Aston Martin. I think Aston will not be there like unlike last year. Huh? I mean, last year wasn't much of an Aston's race anyway. 
troll get, get got to like p5 alonso finished like p6 in the end wasn't the greatest race for aston last year considering their their season but uh, i don't think this track will necessarily suit their car i mean the the, the car doesn't suit any track <laughs> to be honest just Lazo magically turning up in the Q3 once in a while. Uh, least impressive driver though. It should be more interesting. Uh, Ajax sticks with Alonso uh, for whatever time this year. <laughs> um, I mean, could be definitely. Um, least impressive driver from my side. Hmm. Look, look, I'm gonna go with an Aston driver, obviously. It's uh. I think there's more on the team being really bad. I'm gonna go with Francis with Ricardo here. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be an old template. Also had Baron and Nick Silkenberg, probably was Baku, I assume. Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna go with Colapinto for whatever reason. Maybe it's just, you know, like this drive. Mean, the first time he's gonna drive in these conditions, like, 10 degree and less Celsius, so it's not gonna be great. Most impressive team, hmm. Most impressive team for AJ is Mercedes. Bear in mind, he had he, he didn't he didn't pick any Mercedes car for the five finish in the either qualifying or the Grand Prix. Interesting, um, I mean, could happen. Whatever, he's just spreading out his points, uh, hopefully, um, <laughs> not getting there actually. Uh, in my opinion. Okay, uh, most impressive team from my side would be, you know what, I'm gonna go with Ferrari. I think based on last year, they should be pretty strong here as well. Not quite as much as last year. I think they were the quickest car. Unfortunately, with Leclerc, they sh he should have won the Grand Prix, but unfortunate circumstances happen. Um, so yeah, um, most impressive driver though. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, AJ goes with Leclerc. I'm gonna go with Carlos Sainz. Okay, this is not based on my top five, but I, f I just feel like there's a there's a good Grand Prix coming in for Carlos Sainz, especially as a bounce back from last year because last year was so unfortunate. That one of the most unfair penalties in the history of Formula One, Carlos Sainz's engine, well, not engine, whatever it was it. Uh, well, engine component penalty uh, because he was basically sabotaged by the FI due to the drain power is ridiculous. And I still, to this day, I still don't get it. how did he get a penalty and how was Ferrari not, Ferrari not protesting and just not saying, yeah, you know what, this is like, this is unfair, straight unfair. Yeah, 2023 was a weird season. Um, Actual prediction from Ajax is well, this is a long one. Um, Max crashes into Lando and wins World Drivers Championship. It's very specific and would be <laughs> quite a quite a scene. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, uh, interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's very likely he's gonna win the title. Uh, if not this race, the next race definitely uh, is just not losing this title. There's no way he, he would have to DNF in the next three races, like the last three races of the season. That's not happening. Just, just not. Uh, a true prediction from my side. Hmm. I don't know what. Hmm. Uh. Okay. This is just, this will be extremely, extremely dumb, but I'm gonna go with it. Bottas Q2. Very, very unlikely, but I'm gonna go with, uh, I don't know what made me think this is, uh, <laughs> this is a good good idea, but I mean, it's, it's extra bold. I guess it fits the narrative. Um, I'm gonna go with it, you know what? Bottas Q2 uh, happens rarely in, in that, well, not, not quite a Formula 1 car, I think it's closer to a tractor, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is it for the predictions for the last Vegas Grand Prix. If you enjoyed the video, thanks for listening to me. And if you, well, I would say if you enjoyed the video, make sure to the, let me know down below. Um, I like comments and my videos. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, peace.